hogs on the mob planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body old school for low. Purple rim, seven seven cutty, black with the purple trim. So oh. the Ravens have a backup plan. They have a what? Well, what we gonna call it? What we gonna call it? Fail safe plan. That's what we gonna call it. Fail safe plan. The Ravens have a fail safe plan which i can agree with i can agree with with this fail safe plan it is for patrick queen now they say they want to keep them they want to extend them but on top of that they didn't pick up his fifth year option now could they be working with his agent to see what he what they can do to get him but he's not going to get no Ro Ro Roquan money. We know that. He played a lot better with Roquan there. He's, each year, he got better, better, and better. Now, if that plans to extend him, to sign him fails, that leaves the Ravens with their third-round pick, I believe, which is Trenton Simpson from Clemson. Now, I know some people didn't like the pick. I know some people like the pick. A lot of people, are from what I've heard, from what I've seen, 2021, fantastic. 2022, his stats and his pro productivity went down. Now, 2022, he was played outside of his position. That's what a lot of people say, which I'm cool with. So, it's not a guarantee that he's going to replace Patrick Queen, but if that falls, that's when you have to get him to step up. Now, he will be battling Josh Ross. Before he got injured, in my opinion, he was doing pretty good. He was doing pretty good. Everybody knows when you get drafted by the Ravens, you get picked up by the Ravens, you be special teamer. In, in it, if you are not a superstar player. Zay Flowers, he's going to be on special teams. That's not going to be surprising. But for as this Trenton Simpson, as the sell, fail safe plan for the Ravens, that, in my opinion, is a smart move. 2021 stats. His tackles for loss was 12.5, 6.5 sacks. Then they put him in a different position. That 12.5 dropped down to 4.0. That sacks dropped down from 6.5 to 2.5. That is crazy. That is crazy. But he did have more tackles in that other position, but his sacks and his tackles for a loss went down. So, makes you wonder how the Ravens going to use him. How they going to work him in with Patrick Queen still there? Are they going to trade Patrick Queen? I like Patrick Queen. But is, it, is Patrick Queen wanting Big Bank? Test the market to see what they're going to give him. And what the Ravens will give him. If he does that, he's gone. I don't think he's going to get big bank. But the Ravens will say, hey, we've seen what we already did with Trenton Simpson for a year. Let's see what happens when he's out there full time. Or Josh Ross full time. So it's going to be real inter interesting in that linebacker spot, in my opinion. But we shall see so do y'all like the fail safe plan or would y'all rather just trade patrick queen and see what we can get now i know with saying that a lot of people are gonna say trade patrick queen for d hop and all that if that happens i wouldn't be mad they have to figure out the wide receiver situation on who's gonna be on the field their self but but, 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 
that might not happen. That might not happen. So what will the Ravens get if they choose to trade Patrick Queen? They want to sign him. So they wanted to sign C.J. Mosley. We saw what happened. Uh, they wanted to sign Judon. We saw what happened. They wanted to sign Xavier Smith. We saw what happened. So, yeah. Yeah, we already know that story. But, anyway, if you have any questions you would like for me to ask, put them in the comments so I can put them on my show. Question from comments. Also, hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the share. Everybody stay safe, and God bless.